Welcome to an unboxing and first look that I'm extremely excited about. This is the Parrot Zeke. And while I've unboxed a couple of parrot things on this channel before, I have never looked at anything even remotely like this. So it's got a couple of seals, one on the top, one on the bottom. We're gonna break those and we're gonna have a quick look at the overall packaging. So you can see they're going with kind of a, you know, eco-friendly recyclable cardboard packaging going on here. There's the story of Zeke, which is about when Philippe Stark and Henry Sedou decided to work together. They made a vision. So apparently these were about four years in development, just to give you guys some idea how long it takes to bring a vision like that to life. All right, the world's most advanced wireless headphones. I think this is pretty much not open for debate at this point. Touch control panel, active noise cancellation, automatic activation by motion detector, their concert hall effect, which allows you to change a bunch of settings on your phone, we'll more on that later. Wireless audio streaming, hands-free calls, simpler connection via NFC, and includes a USB charging cable, lithium ion battery, three and a half millimeter line in, user guide, and protective pouch. All right, so let's go ahead and see if it lives up to the hype. Now, I should tell you guys right off the bat, they are not cheap. These are not inexpensive headphones. These are meant to go up against the likes of headphones like, you know, Beats or those kinds of premium headphones, although it almost pains me to even utter Beats in the same sentence as these because based on everything I know about these so far and based on my personal experience with Beats, they are not in the same league at all. Oh, beats. I mean, I, I love you guys all. I, I really do. Like all of you who have beats, but it really wasn't the best choice for the money. And as long as you know that and you're comfortable with that, then it's okay. All right. So it comes just kind of packed in here with some twist ties. And we're going to go ahead and get that undone. I'm going to start with the accessories. And then we'll get into the headphones themselves, which actually are lighter than they look. Um, I've heard a few complaints about them being kind of heavy, but I mean, in spite of the metal, the metal construction here, they actually don't have too, too much weight. So let's go ahead. Okay, there's not much else in here. There's just this box right here. So we're gonna get everything else aside now. So there's the Zeke themselves and the accessory box. So here's the USB charging cable. Uh, depending on where you look, the user reports are such that you'll get anywhere from about you know five to six hours of full functionality playback time. So that's when you're using the concert hall effects, that's when you're using the active noise canceling or whatever else you, you wanna use. So you do wanna charge this probably almost daily or every other day. It also includes a three and a half millimeter headphone jack cable. So this one goes into the bottom of this earphone. There we go. And the other one goes, that's a nice, look at that beefy cable and it's got a nice, uh, braided sleeve on it so it's not going to snag on anything, shouldn't tangle up, and this is extremely strong. You'd have a really hard time putting any and undue strain on the connector of your phone, for example. See, if you were to put it in there like that. When it's in a pocket, it's a lot less likely to get damaged than a straight connector, so I do like to see that. The battery itself is right here. You can buy extra batteries. I think they're about 30 bucks. I'd love to see a higher capacity battery. Um, at this time, Parrot says they have no plans to release an external battery charger though, so you do have to charge the battery inside your headphones. So there's a manual available in a variety of languages, but I think we're good without that. And it includes a soft carry case. So sure that people wouldn't have minded seeing a hard carry case, but at least it's a nice soft material so you won't you know, have any scratches or damage or anything like that. Now getting into the headphones themselves. So let's get all these accessories out of the way. The construction feels extremely sturdy. So there's a couple things that stand out. So first is the synthetic leather band on the top. This is padded on the bottom. So you can see there's padding here. I've already had them on, so there's a little bit of hair grease on there. Uh, pretty hard on the top. It's quite flexible. So this allows it to sort of form to your head whatever shape your head might happen to be. And I, I actually find them quite comfortable already, but I'm sure with a, with a break-in period, I would either discover that that's not the case or I'd discover they're even more comfortable than I suspected they are. They do fold flat for storage, so you can see these rotate 90 degrees just like that. And they actually go a little bit out past 90 degrees. So if your ears are at kind of, you know, wherever, whatever shape, wherever they are on your head, they happen to be, should line up with them just fine. 
the, again, I can't, I can't emphasize enough, the construction feels very solid. So it's nice to have metal implemented without it contributing too much to the weight of the headphones. So you can see here that even though there's a lot of technology and a lot of stuff going on in the ear cups themselves, they have a plastic exterior, well mostly, there's metal here as well, and down here for the base ports, so that's where your base ports are. It doesn't end up too, too heavy. Now the ear cups themselves, see they're not huge by any stretch of the imagination. However, my ears in particular do fit inside quite comfortably, so there's soft cushioning here on the inside between your ear and the driver, soft cushioning here and here. There's also extremely soft cushioning here all the way around. So they end up very, very comfortable. If anything, I'd suggest maybe sort of for Zeke V2, uh, maybe a little bit more cushioning on the bottom might not have been a bad idea, but I don't think it's the end of the world either. Uh, here, so check this out. So they actually had to hollow out, see so you can see there's a wire in there. So they had to hollow out the solid metal in order to run the wires that are needed between the left and the right ear cup. And Let's have a look. Yeah, yes, so the differences between the left and the right ear cup. So they're meant to be worn like this. Oh, right, adjustments. Check this out. Extremely solid snapping adjustments. So what I found is that it really contributes in a big way to having them fit more comfortably and more securely because when you have headphones that are just kind of willy-nilly adjusting themselves all the time, you're not going to be able to Oh, oh, I did get them to move that time. You're not going to be able to like really shake your head and move them around without having them kind of come off or get weak over time. It feels like an incredibly strong mechanism and that's one of the things that personally really bothers me about cheaper earphones. They are earphones, headphones. They're also extremely adjustable so I only had to move them out a couple notches. I don't have a huge head by any stretch of the imagination but you can see that I'd be able to wear them even if I did have quite a quite a large noggin there so let's go ahead and get those back sort of in place all right let's get into some of the technology here so at the bottom you can see on the left ear cup there is a double microphone so the uh, the the, uh, the heads headset headphones depends what you want to call them because it can be used as a headset it has between four and five microphones, depending on who you ask, because there's a double microphone and then there's some internal microphones, some of which are dedicated to noise cancellation, some of which are dedicated to picking up on your voice, and these right here are jawbone sensors. So what they do is they detect movement in your jaw. It doesn't work the same way as the, the jawbone, okay? So it does work differently from that, but what they do is they sit right here and they detect when your jaw is moving, and using software they allow the hardware inside the headphones to detect vocals more clearly than when, you're, uh, than when your jaw is not moving. So connectors on the bottom are pretty straightforward. There's your USB connector for charging. That is a micro USB, again, sort of not really my favorite. There's that three and a half millimeter jack, and there is your simple power button. Now, before we can power them on, we will have to, of course, oh yeah, I should give you guys sort of here, you know, there's your little Philip Stark, Philippe Stark, sorry, my bad, my bad. Accents, you got your little bit of orange there, your little bit of orange on the inside of the connectors, as well as the, uh, the three and a half mil, there you go. So powering it on is pretty straightforward. All you gotta do is pick up this, oh, this ear cup. There we go, it's magnetic. So it snaps into place. There you go, easy to get out once you figure out which one you're supposed to be trying to get out. We can go ahead and uh, throw the battery in here. Well, we don't throw anything on tech tips. And once I figure out how to get the battery in, aha. There we go, works better when you do it the right way. Now we can start getting into some of the more advanced functionality. Let me just get the app installed. We'll be back in just a moment. Powering on the headphones is really simple. The power button has a little raised notch on it, so it's really easy to find. Then all you gotta do, my iPhone 4 doesn't support NFC, but check it out. Shows up almost instantly. I mean, Parrot's experience is with Bluetooth. I mean, that's where they were at before they did the whole AR drone thing, so I would fully expect there to be no glitchiness involved in any kind of pairing. I mean, yeah, NFC is cool, but as long as it's as simple as just finding the device and just clicking on it, then I don't expect, you know, anyone wouldn't be able to do that. Most of the advanced functionality of the Zeek is controlled through software, so you actually can't change anything. You know what, I should increase my brightness here. You can't in chain, really change anything just on the headphones themselves. You have to use an app, so in this case, we're using the iOS version. 
where we can monitor all kinds of cool stuff. So let's just go through all of this in order. Oh, there's another thing. Okay, and this, this again is nothing to do with my experience with the Zeke. I just want to disclaim that right now. But I've been using AR Drone V1 since it launched and AR Drone V2 since it launched. Parrot understands software. They understand the complexity of providing proper software updates to things and how that builds a customer experience. So that is why I would go for something like this, where really these headphones are all about support and software. If they don't do it properly, then a lot of these cool effects, we're just gonna do this later, won't necessarily even work. Now, active noise cancellation, this does drain the battery, so it can be the difference between, you know, five to six hours and, you know, a lot more hours of battery life, but, but they do sound better by all accounts with active noise cancellation, whether you're using them in wireless mode or in wired mode, so just bear that in mind. We can go into the system here where we can, oh, okay, active noise cancellation during calls on and off, Bluetooth auto connection, enable or disable, current firmware, available updates, check that out. Awesome, okay, app version. Parrot concert hall, this, this is cool. So you can change to different settings, concert hall, silent room, living room, depending on how big of an area you want to listen in. You can also change your speaker angle by just, oh, sliding them around. So. You know, the interwebs seems to be in agreement that something around 120 degrees and the living room and the silent room sound really freaking sweet. Battery level is, well, battery level, there you go. Batteries in use. Equalizer, this is another good one. So again, the interwebs by and large seem to agree that club is a very good preset for it, but unlike some equalizers that I've seen, you are not stuck with whatever the manufacturer decides you should be allowed to have. You can change it and use the user uh, the user configurable one as well. And finally, help desks. That doesn't really seem to be much of anything. So there you go, guys, that's the app. And one of the most important things to note about it is the fact that once you change any of these settings, that's done, it's changed. It will be stored on the headphones themselves. So even if you carry them over to some other phone that you happen to use, you did de-pair and repair to something else, no big deal, it's all good. So now let's get into some of the cool techie things that make people like me go kind of crazy. Now the first time I tried these headphones, this is why I'm so excited about this unboxing, was at CES last year. Yes, this was like a year ago at this point. And I put them on in the middle of a crowded CES hall. Okay, if you guys have ever been to CES, you know it is loud. And I was like, whoa. 25 decibels of noise cancellation. That's what all those microphones are doing for you, plus the fact that they are extremely well sealed and well built to the point where I'm having a hard time hearing my wife who's helping me film when she tells me things off camera because they are already canceling a lot of the noise on their own just completely passively and they have active noise canceling as well. Now, other cool software features. Again, I wouldn't buy anything this software reliant if I didn't believe it was gonna be supported in the long run. Tap here to play and pause, swipe forward, to change the track, swipe back to change the track backwards, and volume can be adjusted by swiping down or up, which is really, really cool. And last but not least, you can actually pause your music by going like this. Because presumably, you don't necessarily wanna to listen to your music while the headphones are not seated on your ears. I've gotta say, I am really, really impressed. I mean, I was preparing myself to be impressed. I mean, I was ready to be impressed. They're like $400 headphones, so if they don't impress, then come on. Um, so just to give you guys some idea, I mean, probably the best headphones I've ever listened to are the HD 800s from Sennheiser. Um, I don't really like open headphones that much is what I discovered. I spent a lot of time with my HD 555s and then I switched over to a closed set um, after discovering that doesn't really work that well for me. These are outstanding. With a person standing less than a meter away from me, I, I can see lips moving, can't hear a thing when all the features are enabled and it's running. Now, one of the first things my wife asked me, and she's incredibly fussy about headphones. We found like one pair ever that she'll have on her head, which is the Sennheiser PC350s. And uh, she says they're quite comfortable, the one thing for her was the band at the top. So for me, it's less of an issue. For her, it's a problem. And she said, these are phenomenally clear for wireless headphones, like just unbelievable. With Beats and any other active noise canceling headphones I've encountered in the past, there's a discernible hiss. It's annoying. Oh, I just paused my music, there we go. There's a discernible hiss 
There's no hiss. If anything, the active noise cancellation actually enhances the listening experience on these. Now, I just tried it for, for lulls, and yes, in unpowered mode with the 3.5 mil jack, it is not the same experience as when they're powered. However, what I discovered is that you can run them, like if you were to just use them like at your computer, you can just plug them in for power. You can get a nice long micro USB cable. You could easily use them that way. And then when you want to be unplugged, you just walk away. So you can charge them while you're using them. And I'm going to have a really hard time modulating the volume of my voice right now because I can't hear a word I'm saying. So let's give it a sec. Turns off. It's extremely intuitive to control them using the capacitive touch interface here. And what I do like about the materials they're using is it's a soft touch finish. So you can see some fingerprints and you can see that kind of stuff going on here, but you can easily wipe them off and it doesn't stand out nearly as much as glossy surfaces, which drive me personally absolutely crazy. And the music's back on now, so I'm uh, tune out on you guys here. Thanks for checking out this unboxing and don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. Today we're going to be unboxing the Parrot Zeke. This is not the first product I've ever unboxed from Parrot, but he's really loud. Welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Parrot Zeke. Now this is not the first time I've looked at a Parrot product on my channel, but I mean, I guess the same could have been said of the... Welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Parrot Zeke by Stark. This is not the first time I've had a... Welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Parrot Zeke by Stark. This isn't the first time we've had a look at a Parrot product on this channel, but this is a pretty enormous departure from the stuff that we've seen in the past. So there's a couple seals on the top of the... Oh. Welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Parrot Zeke by Stark. This isn't the first time that we've had a look at a Parrot product on this channel, but this is an enormous... Welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Parrot Zeke by Stark. This is not the first time we've had a look at a Parrot product on this channel. Welcome to an unboxing that I am extremely excited about. This is the Parrot Zeke. This isn't the first product I've ever looked at from Parrot. Baby's over there. But it is perhaps the one that I am most excited about. So they, 